I think it's very important, particularly with poetry, um, at least if you're performing. Uh, I have a background in being on stages. I was in theater in high school and things, and I, uh, yeah, I did chorus most of my life in some type of, you know, organized chorus. Um, so I've been on stage. I was in bands and things like that, usually singing and stuff, so being up front with it. Yeah, so I, I've... I've always kind of done that since I was about 15, like being in front of people, but kind of performing. But when I think it comes to reading poetry, I think it's a really an opportunity to emphasize what you want to emphasize, to uh, do, let the reader see the side of you that was in the work, you know? And I think that's very important. It's not as, I mean, I always say like most poetry readings, most any type of literary readings are usually snooze fest, right? Like I've been to many, especially if you go through the MFAs, you go to many, and it's usually somebody up there like very timidly, like shaking, reading their thing, and it's just kind of whispering into the microphone, and you're just kind of like, all right, dude, like, you know, Sherman Alexie always said this. He's like, you know, they can read your stuff at home in a monotone voice. They read it at home. Uh, if they're coming to see you read it, you have to give them something, you know, do an animated voice, do, you know, read the exclamation points if there are exclamation points in there, right? Read the question marks if there are questions in there. It's just like, and that, I know that's intimidating to some people, and I'll tell people, it just takes practice. Just practice doing it. Read it out loud to yourself. Practice in the mirror, right? Like people will say that, like it feels awkward, it feels goofy, but it does pay off in terms of you do get better at reading out loud. Because reading in your head is one thing, reading out loud is another, you know. It's uh, a little extra step. And then to do it in an entertaining way, well, that just takes practice, you know. So, I mean, yeah, so I think it's important that writers do that. Especially, you know, in the social media era, somebody like Rupi Carr, even, that was her big bread and butter. She would post those uh, you know, kind of pictures of the page, but then she would also read them in a kind of very animated way uh, and post little clips on TikTok or Instagram or something. People like to see it, you know, especially if you're a fan of that writer or something, they like to get a piece of you uh, that's something a little bit more than what's just on the page. So I think it's good for writers to do that, although I know the opportunities aren't as much or it feels awkward to set it up yourself. I ran a reading series when I was in grad school, like at a local coffee shop for the graduate students and anybody else who wants to come up. And, uh, you know, it's always a lot of fun and you see a wide variety of people do that. But I always remember there was this, my very first year of grad school, you know, there was an older student who was in their last year there. And I think they were trying to, um, screw me a little bit where they were like, Hey, do you want to do this reading? I said, sure. And they're like, oh, you go on first. And I just said, okay. Like, you know, I was like, yeah, you're going to regret that. Like, you're going to regret putting me on first. And yeah, and I went up there and I, you know, did my thing, very animated, which is what I do. And then, you know, the person that came on after me was kind of like, oh, well, I'm not going to be like him. I'm just like, yeah, I bet you're not. Like, you made a mistake putting me on first. But yeah, you know, you got to follow that, yeah. But I mean, that, I just think that, you know, make it a little fun because there's if it's if it's boring to just see somebody read in a monotone or be nervous, have a little confidence in what you're doing. You know, do you think your stuff is good enough to be read out loud? Well, then do it, you know, make people like it more. You know, like it, it, it does enhance the experience, I think. And with poetry, it's almost even necessary, you know, so.